Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate PowerPoint with the help of Excel VBA. So basically, if we are working in, a, like suppose you are working in a, like some corporate environment and you have to prepare a lot of uh, dashboard and reports and after preparing the dashboard and reports, we need to move uh, some certain data, maybe, you know, uh, some uh, uh, some graphs or some commentaries uh, from Excel to a PowerPoint basically we need to prepare the business slide so that uh, we can represent the data to leadership team as well as uh, some other you know uh, audience uh, while doing this uh, we are in habit of you know developing several charts on Excel sheet and then we just copy the copy all the charts from Excel sheets to and uh, move move all the charts and some tables to PowerPoint presentation of like on a different slide maybe uh, slide number one slide number two or slide number three like basis on the charts and and the data right so while doing all these activities it uh, like uh, it takes a lot of time manual effort uh, in alignment and doing on all these all those things so uh, here uh, visual basic application code will help you a lot in automating all these uh, type of tasks right so let's move to excel window and see the example uh, first of all i will explain all those logics all the logics manually and then we will try to automate uh, the same uh, you know steps uh, with the help of visual basic application code so that we can automate the powerpoint slide so let's click on uh, excel and here i have created a sample chart over here and you know uh, this is a sample data this is a, the comparison of you know 2018 and 2019 uh, sales data basically right so what we need to do we need to just move this uh, all this information like this uh, this chart like table as well as this chart from excel sheet uh, to uh, powerpoint slides so first of all as i told you that first of all we will understand the logic how uh, do we do manually and we will try to replicate the same you know same step with the help of visual basic application so that once you will develop the code you will need to click on a command button uh, available on excel sheet and on the basis of on that click after on after clicking on that button entire activity will be uh, performed by uh, visual basic application that is macro within fraction of second so let's uh, so before creating a uh, uh, no powerpoint presentation we need to open the powerpoint so let's open the powerpoint and this is our powerpoint uh, application this is going to be open so in the same way uh, like we will perform the same activity now we need to uh, uh, get a blank presentation so just click in blank presentation and just remove the subtitle and move this this uh, title to here so okay and again uh, as we have created inserted one blank uh, slide so let's select this slide and just go to excel sheet and we need to select the range so, so uh, like th this table particular table is started from c2 so that's c2 and uh, range should be c2 to l2 or maybe more than that uh, like l23 so 23 row number and the sorry k and c2 okay so we have selected the desired location which like uh, desired like charts and you know, charts and tables so we need to copy this uh, all these uh, selected cells as a picture so click on copy and copy as picture so in this particular copy picture uh, window like you know we just need to select this uh, as shown on screen and the format as picture so the same information and the same step will be taken care while we will perform the same activity uh, with the help of macro right visual basic application just click on ok now we have successfully copied this uh, entire contents which we want to move from excel to uh, like you know powerpoint so let's activate the powerpoints and here we have already selected the powerpoint let's uh, go to select uh, you know paste and paste special right and make it center alignment make it bigger right make it a little bit bigger it depends right and then add the title uh, this is my first slide okay so 
this is assuming this is title so all these activities uh, will be like uh, whatever the activities we perform manually uh, we are going to perform them with the help of visual basic application so let's close this uh, you know application like a powerpoint application no need to save and now we are on excel sheet so let's start doing coding so to do the coding just click on developer tab and then click on visual basic application uh, button alternatively you can uh, press alt plus f11 to jump to a uh, uh, visual basic application window so click on visual basic application once you click on visual basic application uh, button we will directly jump to uh, microsoft visual basic for application here we need to insert one module so click uh, to insert a module click on insert and then module okay before starting the coding we need to give the reference of powerpoint because see uh, we are sitting in excel application and we just want to refer uh, the powerpoint uh, application so what we need to do we need to provide the reference of that application and uh, that reference will be available in uh, no uh, you just need to click on tools and then reference so here in this particular window you can see a lot of reference are available so here we need to focus on powerpoint presentation so just uh, go down or maybe you can uh, press microsoft so here you can see that uh, this is a microsoft powerpoint 16.0 object library uh, we just need to check it and click on ok now we have successfully added uh, the reference of powerpoint presentation and this is called uh, early binding basically we are uh, binding the reference to the uh, to our uh, the excel application right uh, let's add a subroutine sub and the sub procedure name should be you know uh, like copy range to powerpoint so maybe you can uh, like uh, choose some relevant name so here i am going to uh, give the name as copy range to powerpoint just press enter to create some room over here so that we can start writing the code and that will be easily visible press ctrl s and so here first of all uh, as we have already added uh, the reference of powerpoint what we what we need to do we need to add, declare some variable related with the powerpoint presentation so let's put comments so that in you know whenever you will refer this uh, this code you will easily understand what uh, which type of activity is performed by uh, this uh, this particular section of code right so let's uh, put it declare declare powerpoint variables okay this is the comment right so basically compiler will you know uh, ignore this particular line of code uh, now we need to declare uh, one uh, like variable that is called powerpoint so dim pp as powerpoint dot application right so uh, this is for powerpoint application and again we need to uh, add one more uh, like one more variable that is called powerpoint presentation uh, presentation as powerpoint dot presentation so very simple now we need to uh, in every presentation we have some uh, like uh, there is a there is a slide so we need to add one more variable that is called uh, powerpoint slide as powerpoint dot slide it's very easy right and again in every slide there is a title so what we need to do uh, in title uh, we give the string value that is text value so we need a variable uh, that is called uh, string type basically so dim slide title as is string okay so we have successfully declared uh, four variable one is for powerpoint presentation like uh, that is for application second one is for uh, powerpoint presentation and third one is for you know powerpoint slide and the fourth one is that is a string value uh, which is will be used as a you know, uh, caption or maybe you can say that header of uh, uh, that particular slide uh, uh, now we need to open the powerpoint application and create a new presentation over here like we just click uh, as in manual activity we just click on the start button then you know uh, click on powerpoint application uh, in the same logic we are going to uh, you know, I'm going to open the powerpoint uh, application and uh, we are going to add a new presentation new slide on in that application okay so let's put commentary over here 
opening power power point and creating a new presentation okay so uh, as we have already declared the pp as powerpoint application so we need to add a set pp is equal to new powerpoint dot application okay so we uh, successfully assigned a new application to the powerpoint and powerpoint uh, pp itself a object variable that is uh, referring the powerpoint application right now we need to uh, set a powerpoint presentation so like uh, set pp presentation is equal to we need to refer the pp dot you know uh, presentation dot add okay so we uh, successfully added uh, one uh, presentation to uh, powerpoint basically so what we need to do we need to uh, basically see this particular application is, is hidden right we are just referring using the reference so what we need to do we need to uh, make the powerpoint application visible to user so, so let's pp dot visible is equal to true true right okay so we have successfully uh, op uh, opened the powerpoint application created a new presentation and make it visible to user right now uh, we need to add a slide to the powerpoint presentation and uh, we need to select that particular slide right so let's uh, put commentary over here adding a new slide and in power powerpoint presentation presentation and selecting that slide further use use right so uh, let's uh, as we have already declared you know uh, the powerpoint slide uh, variable so we need to set uh, the powerpoint slide so set pp slide is equal to now we need to add uh, the slide in powerpoint presentation right so we will refer this particular variable this is called uh, we have already set uh, this you know pp uh, resolutions powerpoint sorry powerpoint presentation then uh, powerpoint pre presentation dot you know slides and then add so basically add okay add right and uh, we need to add oh, like give us index as long one so we need to uh, add the variable on first sequence right and then layout should be a uh, pp layout uh, that should be a uh, title only title so this one pp layout title only right so we just need one title over here and there's a uh, uh, rest of the slide should be blank okay that's it and we need to uh, select this slide so pp uh, slide dot select okay so we are selecting this particular slide for further reference like we will copy the data from excel sheet and pasting over on the selected slide right now we need to uh, write the code to copy uh, the data from excel sheet so let's put comment over here code to copy the range as PIs picture from Excel actual sheet right now we need to refer uh, the name basically Excel to PowerPoint here so basically we are going to copy the uh, the data let's uh, go to this one from Excel to Excel to PowerPoint sheet so let's copy the name over here and you know let's go to the Excel uh, like Visual Basic application code and here we need to give because see we are already in this visual uh, in the actual worksheet this app uh, this workbook so we do not need to refer the workbook name we can directly refer the worksheet name that is uh, so that's why i am not referring the workbook name over here then sheets and here we are going to apply the name so the name we have already copied from you know uh, let me go back over there i think there is a space okay 
and this is a basic application so this one and the range should be uh, we uh, we need to give the range a uh, range and the range should be uh, let's put comment uh, like inverted commas here move to excel and the range should start from c2 to k23 okay c2 to k23 let me show you this one c2 to k23 go to visual basic application and here we need to give the reference as c2 to k23 okay and we uh, we just need to copy the range you know uh, so we need to copy as picture as uh, we performed manually while well, we copy uh, the pis picture and uh, then appearance should be appearance should be you know uh, like we uh, uh, we selected excel uh, a screen over there so we need to pass scr double a screen okay and the comma format should be there were two options one was you know picture and one was bmp something like that so we selected picture so we also need to uh, pass the format here is excel picture okay so this is uh, this line then we are successfully like we have successfully copied uh, this particular range like c2 to k23 from this particular sheet excel to powerpoint uh, as a as a picture and the picture appearances skin whatever the the appearance is available on a screen and that we are copy and uh, you know uh, and the format is excel picture okay now we need to uh, paste the picture on and adjust the position on slide so let's uh, put comment here uh, code so pasting picture and adjusting position on slide right so as you know uh, we have already you know selected a slide you can see that you know uh, this particular slide we uh, visible and pp slide is already selected over here and then we are copying uh, the picture from excel sheet so we do not need to worry whether uh, the slide is active or not because we have already activated like we have already selected that particular slide so what we need to do we need to directly uh, paste on that particular slide so uh, just write down the code pp slide dot shapes dot paste and dot select so whatever the data or uh, uh, the picture we have copied recently from excel sheet we are directly pasting on this particular uh, slide and after after you know pasting that slide we are selecting uh, that particular shape so that we can further you know uh, make the alignment maybe center or you know uh, bottom like that okay so uh, to make the alignment we need to line the write the code so uh, pp is like powerpoint uh, application dot you know active window basically active window selection so basically we have selected uh, the slides like not slides basically the shape selection dot shape shape range dot align and the alignment should be on this one select mso align centers okay and comma and true okay so that's it so we have successfully aligned uh, uh, the shape which we have pasted on a uh, powerpoint now we need to add the title on the top of like uh, on the top of uh, that particular slides so let's add a comment over here we have already declared a variable that is called slide title so we are going to utilize this uh, particular variable over here so let's uh, slide title is equal to my first automated presentation and the pp slide like uh, we need to like pp slide that is a variable slide then shapes and the title we are going to utilize because it's, it's available on top of the picture and text frame text frame frame dot text range basically 
text range and dot text is equal to the variable uh, which we are referring over here so you can directly write uh, text over here or you can utilize the variable so here i am going to utilize the variable name slide title right and uh, now we uh, need to align make the alignment of slide title basically so we need to make it central and top alignment align so basically uh, let's make it center alignment so pp slide dot shapes dot title again dot now where uh, we need to utilize the text effect here we utilize text frame but here we will utilize text effect text effect dot alignment text effect dot alignment is equal to mso and we need to select this uh, the center so just go to alignment center this one first one right and break uh, the line so we successfully assign the title over on top of the slide and make it center alignment we, you can uh, further use like maybe font size font color you know you can uh, use several you know, properties to uh, like uh, format the slide over here but this is just for example so that you can uh, you can learn how to do this now we have successfully uh, done everything now need to uh, this is time to know kill all the variables which we have declared because uh, it contains a lot of space in memory right so we just need to uh, uh, release the memory right and then activate uh, the powerpoint presentation slide presentation basically application so let's uh, put comment over here so to activate this application uh, powerpoint just we are referring with the help of variable that is called pp dot activate and now we need to uh, kill all those variables which we have like declared as a object so set first of all we will uh, kill the powerpoint like slide and just assign nothing then set powerpoint presentation nothing and then the last that is called powerpoint nothing right and remove the extra spaces the line breaks which are available so that we can see this so here just press ctrl s and we here we have successfully written uh, down the code requires to perform this activity so let's uh, compile this so go to debug and compile vp project so if there uh, would be any error then it will be get highlighted while uh, uh, compiling vp project it means there is no syntax error basically maybe it uh, will have you know some logical error so first of all let's uh, uh, like uh, make it smaller and and then start running this code one by one so that you can see uh, what is happening in background right so let's again make this selected this this particular text okay uh, let's press F8 to run this code line by line so you can see that it successfully uh, declared the variables in memory now it's creating a PowerPoint okay you can see that it has you know uh, it has created an application of uh, the PowerPoint presentation and now effort is showing visible PowerPoint slide we are adding one slide that is will be page layout so you can see that one uh, this particular slide one slide has been added and there is only one uh, you know title title available here right PP layout title only and now we are going to select this slide and we are going to jump to our excel now uh pp slide just come here and now you can see that it has been successfully pasted the slide over there let me let me select this first and then okay effect slide my first automated presentation and slide so you can see that uh, my first automated presentation has started reflecting over here pp dot activate so it's activating the slide uh, the, the application basically now we are killing uh, the powerpoint slide presentation and 
PowerPoint application itself. Basically, uh, we are just releasing the memory, and so. So now we can see that it has been successfully transferred. Though it's not a like you know proper format. Here, uh, the purpose of this video is just to show you that we can automate uh, the PowerPoint slide with the help of uh, you know Visual Basic application while uh, sitting in Excel. So if you will put some extra code, then you can make it enlarge it, basically fit in this particular slide and make it bold, italic and all, everything. So you can do everything, whatever you are doing in like, you know, manually in PowerPoint. So next time, whenever you, uh, you are going to uh, make a PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint slide manually, just think about that. Whether are you uh, like copying uh, and pasting the data from Excel sheet? If yes, then uh, please do try this method uh, it will really be he very helpful for you and it will save a lot of time a lot of time for you right, of you right and uh, of course and that will be great learning and next time whenever you will uh, uh, like going will go to write the code you will be confident that okay you can uh, do the powerpoint presentation automation with the help of visual basic application so uh, hope you uh, Enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. Have a great day. Bye bye.